So, <clears throat> do you guys want to make more money, get better posture, and lose weight? Well, me too, but that's not why I'm here today, Toastmasters. I'm here to talk a little bit about Darren J. Williger. So by the end of this presentation, you should be familiar with who I am, where I came from, and where I'm going. I'm going to start back oh, in the 60s. Yeah. November 6, 1969. Little Darren was born probably about as bald as I am right now. So, not even 40, but I have lived in five decades. I have. I've seen the 60s for just a little bit. And in the 70s, growing up, mom was an English teacher, dad was with a little company called IBM. And heavy mathematicians. So, education was a primary focus throughout my first decade on this planet. And in 1979, my father comes home with the first IBM PC. And goes back to work and to his surprise, when he returns home later, I, I had it across the dining room table in several different pieces. He had no desire to scold me. He actually stood back. He said, what have you done here? I said, I, I needed to learn how this worked. And I had always tinkered with electronics through my youth, building little radios, building little remote cars. This was something neat. I fell in love with the computer. By 11, I was programming in BASIC. By 12, I formed my first users group, the VIC-20 users group back then when Commodore started coming out. That was around 12 and 13. By 14, I got into computer hacking. <laughs> I have done a really good job at doing some really bad things. I have hacked, I have cracked, I have done a lot of freaking, which was phone hacking. Now let me explain, growing up, we moved quite frequently. My father, being with IBM, would receive a promotion. We ended up from Chicago to California to New Mexico. And Something I utilized to extend friendship and to connect with others, as you can imagine, being young and moving frequently, you'd have to learn to adapt and make friendships quickly. Something that helped me greatly was technology. Back in the early 80s, we set up what was called a loopback, and essentially a little network we were able to all dial into, and us hacker freaker friends would get together. So when I moved from one place to the next, there was no issue in staying in contact with my circle of friends. It was a little network of little communications. And I remember meeting a girl this way. And my dad's in Dallas, and I'm visiting him. He says, what's going on? I said, Dad, uh, with my loop back, I met a, a girl named Tammy in Arlington, Texas. He said, great, let's go meet her. And he would encourage this. He wasn't fond of the hacking, but if anything, it almost frightened him. And he didn't want to upset the son who hacked. By 15, my hacking had gotten a little out of control, and so had the freaking and got heavily involved with the hacker community with the mission of bringing down corporate America, and I was determined to. By 16, my mother came in complaining of her salary as a teacher, and I hacked the Chicago Board of Ed, and I gave her a raise. I was legally emancipated as a minor at age 16, not too long after that, and uh, basically sat on my own, lived as a transient for a little bit over a year, and learned to use my computer skills to actually gain income. So. With the hacking experience, I was able to transition into more of a white hat role and help companies to be secure. I went to college. I went to SIU, to Southern Illinois University, Carbondale, Salukis. And I went for business management because that's where my heart was. I love business. And I always knew technology would be the catalyst to get me to where I needed to be. I had a little daughter by the time I was 19. I have a daughter who's going to be 20 this month. Still not even 40. I dropped out of college last semester, senior year. 116 credit hours under the belt. And cocky 21-year-old saying, you know what? Michael Dell did this. Bill Gates did this. Darren Williger is going to do this. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to take over the world. I'm going to go and I'm going to earn more money than any entry-level college graduates getting these days. And sure enough, I started a computer company. But Williger Computers never took off. People thought I was too small. The marketing light went on. And I twisted my name backwards, and I, I came up with Regillo. All of a sudden, I had this Italian-sounding strong presence and was able to walk into companies, Armco Metal Stamping in Evanston, Draper and Kramer downtown, leverage into Cellucraft, Lawson Bard, and off of 5303 St. Charles, acquired by Elcan, and began to grow, began to understand big business and how I connected into this picture. I then had the opportunity with Elcan, falling into this role by teaching them how to secure their networks, flying back and forth to Europe. I'm going to Germany and England and Switzerland. Here I am, some ex-hacker college dropout, hopping around Europe on a company dime and an expense account. 
I thought this can't get much better. I'm taking pictures, thumbs up, hey, I'm at Stonehenge, hey, I'm in the Autobahn, and sent them into my Dell rep who plastered his wall with pictures of Darren Williger smiling in different countries because to me life's a big party and the fact that I actually have done so many adventures has been a gift and a blessing. And I get a call one day from a gentleman at Dell saying, so we need to talk to you. CEO of our company has handpicked you to come down and talk with us. And the second time he called, as I hung up thinking it was a prank, he insisted that this was for real, and I had to meet with him the following week. I met with him in Chicago, flew to Austin the week after, and went through a grueling series of what they call the gauntlet. And it puts you through this room, and everyone comes in and tries to make you sweat and tries to make you cry or whatever it is, and I really enjoyed it. I challenged them. They came back to me um, about three months later, and they gave me an offer that I really enjoyed. I had an opportunity to be a global account manager with Dell with an experimental role, to have an opportunity to sit down with the CEO of a 90,000 seat, $60 billion Fortune 50. Me, Darren Williger, this felt pretty good. Felt really good. I said, you know what? You're very technical. You look decent in a suit. We'll throw you into sales, see what happens. Southern Ohio, Western Michigan, Texas, New York. I'm closing business left and right. I'm bringing in millions. I start moving 25 plus million a year. I finally meet this wonderful lady one time on a flight, 100 something flights a year, and I meet a girl that was on the second flight of her life. Her name was Jennifer. It was about two and a half years ago. I told her I wanted to take her on a date. She said, well, you travel, and I live in Oklahoma. I said, I'll put you on a list of the most unsuccessful people who passed on opportunities if you don't call this number. Handed her my card and walked away. Jennifer lives with me now, and hopefully we'll be married someday too. Life has been an incredible journey. I consider myself truly blessed. I continue to meet wonderful people, make good friends, and find excellent opportunities. I had the opportunity last year to re-enter my entrepreneurship, and I have been embracing this opportunity. I've been doing something I really love, which is connecting with others on a large scale, making more friends and meeting more people. Life has been really good to me, and I embrace every opportunity and every moment I have to do good, to help others, and to add value. I am an example of karma. All that computer hacking gave me 10 years of miserable security work to make up for it before I was able to soar. And I truly believe that when you do good, good things will happen to you. You just attract and bring that good energy in. And we all know that. That's why we're here, to improve ourselves, to connect with others, to make friends, and to make ourselves better people. I want to thank all of you for having me here, and I, I hope I've answered a few questions about myself, and I, I really look forward to learning a little bit more about each and every one of you over the coming months in Toastmasters. Thank you very much.